Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make my sweet potato and banana brownies. These are delicious and to die for, and you can adapt it however you want. Um, you can put it and uh, put melted chocolate in if you wanted to as well. I haven't done that yet, but I will. I will be doing that. So I've just running through the basic ingredients. So I've got uh, one large mashed sweet potato. So I cook this um, in the oven because the oven's better than the air fryer. You can cook it in the air fryer, but the oven is much better because um, it really goes nice and soft and gooey. And that's one large sweet potato and two um, medium sized bananas that are all mashed as well. Um, I've also got 80 grams of oat flour here. So this is just 80 grams of rolled oats, which I then put in the blender and made into flour. Simple. You can buy oat flour, but why waste your money when it takes 30 seconds to blend it? Um, I've got 13 grams of cocoa powder and I've got 20 grams of dark chocolate chips. I've also got um, vanilla essence as well, just to give it a little bit of extra taste. So let's just go. This is the simplest recipe ever, guys, because I don't like having overcomplicated recipes that take forever to do, because I'm a solo mum to one. I haven't got the time. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our sweet potato and we just chuck it in. Chuck it in to one big bowl. See, it's literally like a whole dump it and bake type meal, and which is the easiest ones I like. There is a little bit of prep, obviously, but it's mainly gonna be just chuck it in. Um, and then we've got um, our mashed banana, which we also just throw into the bowl as well. Um, so you can, if you want to, mix as you go, um, but, you know, if you want to, you can mix as you go, or you can just dump it all in and then just mix it. So then I've got my 80 grams of oat flour. I just chuck that in as well. Um, and then I usually do give it a mix after this. I do kind of mix in all the flour with the sweet potato and the banana. Now you might think, oh, I'm not sure on that, but the sweetness of the sweet potato and the banana and then obviously with the cocoa powder and the dark chocolate chips dark chocolate chips and cocoa powder can be quite bitter but mix it in with the sweet sweet potato and the banana and you're good to go good to go it just balances it all out so just watch this now turn into a chocolate goody goodness so this is just like a healthier version of a chocolate brownie oh my god it smells so good and it is only 10 30 in the morning i can't eat brownies at 10 30 in the morning i can if i want to there's no rule is there there's no rule i can eat brownie in the morning if i want okay and then i'm just going to put a teaspoon of um oh sorry vanilla essence oh that was a bit more than a teaspoon Okay, that was a bit more of a teaspoon. In with this, and I'm gonna mix all this up as well. See, it's so simple, guys, it really is. And then what I do, I mean, this is completely your choice. You can either get the chocolate chips and just chuck them all in, but what I like to do is I like to take half of them and I like to mix half of them in. And then once I put it into my dish, I then like to spread the other half on the top. So this usually gives me around about eight to 10 slices, but because I find it so rich, what I tend to do as well is that I split that again. So I get 16, because the cocoa powder and the dark chocolate chips are quite bitter, it does give it that beautiful rich taste, but I feel sometimes that can be a bit sickly and a bit too much. So I only kind of um, have I cut it into eight and then I cut it again. So I get back 16 pieces all together. So now we're just going to put that in a tub. In a tub. In a tin. So now I've lined a casserole dish with a greaseproof paper. And I've already put some of the mix into the dish. Because the paper kept lifting up. And it was annoying me. So I just added some in to keep the paper down. And then you just literally transfer it all into a dish. 
Now, the hard part, guys, if you're old, duh, <laughs> like I am, you know, born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, you remember that your parents, your mum, your grandma, whoever it was that you had in your life, hopefully you had someone like this, that made cakes on a Sunday afternoon. Is anybody with me there? Anybody with me? And maybe some of you still carry on that tradition with the Great British Bake Off. I have a big brother and there was always a fight of who was going to lick the spoon. Because there's only one spoon, right? So some of you got to lick the, the big wooden spoon. And then if you had a sibling, it was the other... You just got like a, a crappy metal spoon, didn't you? You just had to do it that way. So it was always a fight between me and my brother of who got to lick the spoon. So do you still do that? Do you do your kids, if you have kids, do they um, lick the spoon? Or do you think, no, I just baked the cake, therefore I'm licking the spoon today? Oh, please say that I'm not alone in that. Please tell me. So as you can see, this is a plant-based meal, dessert, sorry. I mean, it could be a meal if you want to be, if you want a chocolate brownie for your whole dinner. Go for it. Go for it. There are no rules. Maybe not the happiest, but no rules. So this is absolutely, this is plant-based. So there's no eggs, no yogurt, no dairy. It's sweet potato, banana, cocoa powder, dark chocolate chips, and vanilla essence and oats. It's so easy to do. And most of the time, people have this in their cupboards. Um, I don't think it would work so much with just like normal potato um, because it's the sweetness of the sweet potato that you need. So that is it, guys. Look, that's it. That's all you've got to do. I've already preheated the oven to um, 180. Yeah, 180. Um, and... I'll probably bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I just put the rest of these chocolate chips on the top and then if you want it to be like quite gooey when you stick a knife in or toothpick in or whatever whatever you want to do when you stick it in when it comes out it should have a little bit of like um brownie mix on the knife still and that'd be a nice gooey brownie if you prefer not to keep cooking until it comes out clean but every each to their own really but 20 to 25 minutes um on 180 in a pre preheated oven and it'll be done so that's what it looks like before really nice and simple so i'll come back to you when it's done so here is the finished product guys so this is what it looks like on the outside you can see a few of the banana chunks if you don't want that you could possibly with the mix blend it all together and then just pour it in that way so this actually only made six i think it's because i had a larger casserole dish that i usually use um but you know they're quite big so i could cut that in half again uh, and make 12 pieces here um so yeah this is uh, this is the finished product it looks absolutely lovely nice and dark and gooey on the top and then as you can see in the middle it's a bit more lighter um, so yeah, so if you do try this, do let me know if you try it, if you've got any other ideas of what I could do, um, do let me know. I do like to experiment in the kitchen. I'm no perfect cook or no perfect chef, but it's edible, it's delicious, and that's all that really matters, isn't it? So uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know if you've tried sweet potato brownie or if you would... Uh, if you do it yourself, do you put any extra ingredients in that maybe I can try? I'm just going to cut it again. How do people cut with one hand? Oh, they look just like that. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So, like, there you go. Like that on some ice cream. Perfect. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more future stuff. Let me know if you want me to try any other recipes, and I will do. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.